You're watching Catalan Sports Zone! Howard opened the season with back-to-back -back shutouts, outscoring Castlewood and Scotland by a combined total of 103 points. Tonight, the second-ranked Tigers face their biggest challenge to date in number one Canastota Freeman. Opening quarter, the Pride hit pay dirt on their opening drive. Fourth and five from the 20, Tice Ortman to tie Merrill in the back of the end zone. That's some concentration. Canastota Freeman opts to go for two, and Ortman hits Logan Katzer. The conversion is good. 8-0, Pride on top. Second quarter, Tigers hang six on the board. Tyson Spader to Sam Aslison. That's 44 yards. Duo connects again for 12, allowing Riley Genslinger to punch it in for six. Howard pulled even with a two-point conversion. This time it's Spader to Aslison, and it's 8-8 eight, eight at halftime. It remained 8-all into triple overtime where each team scored a touchdown, but Howard adds the conversion and wins 16-14. Another pair of nine-man contenders met in Woolsey as the Warbirds play Gregory. Woolsey starts the game with a solid drive. Tristan Abbott up the middle, punching it in for a two-yard touchdown. Two-point conversion, no good. Warbirds on top, 6-0. Next possession for the Warbirds. Marty Gone breaks through the line and see you later. Turns on the Jets, 66 yards on the touchdown run. Two-point try is good. Woolsey Wessington on top, 14-0. Second quarter, Abbott doing it all for the Warbirds. He picks off the pass from Gregory quarterback Coy Detimer and setting up Woolsey with great field position. Couple plays later though, on fourth down, it's Corbin Harmeyer throwing across the field to Marty Gone, who takes it down the sideline for an eight yard touchdown. Woolsey Wessington on top at that point, 20 to nothing. Gregory finally able to get something before half as Jordan Vasica punches it in from the one, cutting the lead to 20 to six. But Wolsey Wessington stays perfect on the season with a 34-12 win over Gregory. Across the border in Iowa, West Lyon played MOC Floyd Valley. First quarter, West Lyon breaks a scoreless tie as Tanner Severson fields the punt. He'll follow his blockers and then find a seam as he races 59 yards to the end zone. PAT good and the Wildcats up seven nothing. Then on West Lions next possession, it'll be Severson. This time he's getting the carry and watching Bulldoze over the tackler as he finds Paydirt for the second time of the night. And the Wildcats stretch their lead to 14. Head to the second quarter, West Lions sticking to what's working and they're gonna feed Severson again. He'll weave his way through the Dutchman defense and into the end zone for his third TD of the game. Wildcats up 21 zip. And they kept rolling in the opening half as they're going to give to Corey Knobloch this time. And he's going to find some daylight and burst through that as he's gone 60 yards to the house. That made it 28-0. And West Lyon rolls past MOC Floyd Valley in this one. Not a final score yet there, though. Time now for the Touchstone Energy Player of the Week. This week's recipient, Sioux Falls Lincoln wide receiver, Ty Schaefer. Senior hauled in eight catches for 128 yards and three touchdowns, helping lead the Patriots to a 41-0 win over fifth-ranked Washington. Player of the Week is brought to you by your local Touchstone Energy Cooperative. The weekend sports schedule and hits and helmets are on the way next.